Hello and welcome to a new video about controls, non-feedback controls. Last time we did the linked control. Uh -huh. This time we do a little bit different approach. Because last time we had an issue that we could not cover the whole needs we need. Yeah? We made an example with two cylinders. I've drawn this here again. Yeah? This was the example. And we said, aha. Uh -huh, cannot be solved because simply here after step one and after step three I have the same situation okay? and something else needs to be happen. In step two, so after step one, I would extend 2mm1. In step four, so after step three, same input situation, I would need to retract 1mm1. Uh, huh? Get it in again. So this is simply not working. However, what I can do is to cascade linked controls. Not only use one linked control, use some of them. How many? Depends a little bit on the pattern. There is one way of doing this. So we'll start with one, the first, first part. How does it look like? Is it this? It's the starting. And we search now if all things, all situations are unique. So this, the first one is always unique. The second one is already different from the first one, so it's unique. The third one is different from the other ones, so it's also unique. The, this one, the next one, aha, this was already there. This is not unique. So at the step before, there is the border. Uh, this is my area one. Uh, now start here. First situation here, this, unique, because it's the first. Second, it's in, in another area, so it's also unique. Third, also unique, and then we are already at the end, so this is my area two. Uh, and I can now do one linked control for area one. I can do one linked control for area two yeah? and I'm done. The only thing I need to take care of that in the right point in time, I switch from area one to area two. Yeah? How does this look like? Yeah? Let's make again a plan with the signal one BG one. 1BG2, 2BG1, 2BG2, and here we have the start signal, I will also do this. Okay. So I need to remember if I'm in area 1 or in area 2. Okay. We talked about in digital technique about memories, so we'll use a memory here simply. We use an SR memory. Looks like this. SR, Q, not Q. And in my case, that's enough. Because I say I have two different areas. This shall be area 1 and this shall be area 2. Okay. There is one bit memory is enough. 0, 1, one, 2 areas. Okay. When do I have to switch to, a, to area 2? Okay. Make an end here. To switch to area 2 I have to be in area 1. I hope this is clear. I will make also an end here. To switch to area 1, back to 1, because here I need to switch back to 1. I must be in area 2. I hope this is also clear. So this, 
are now the two things. Okay. When do I need to switch from area 1 to area 2? In case 2PG2 and 1PG2. Then we will switch. Okay. When do we switch to area 1 again? In case 1PG1 and 2PG1. Okay. Now we have the transitions of the area. Okay. Then we only need to make ends. So I will take this one. This is area one. I will also get this one down here. This is area two. Okay. These are signals from here simply. So if we are area one and 1PG1 and 2PG1 and the start are yeah, then 1MM1 out. This is our command. If we're in area one and one BG two and two PG one two M one out. If I'm in area two, and one PG one, ah, uh, one PG two, ah, uh, area two, then two PG, one PG two, two PG two, then what needs to happen? 2mm1 in and last end area 2 yeah, and 1pg2 so cylinder 1 is out and cylinder 2 is in yeah, then 1mm1 in okay and now I tell you it's shell work. Let's think about it. Let's say we are in area 1, so this is set. Yeah? And our two cylinders are in. Okay. Let's make the first step. So this is, this is on here. This is on, and also this is on. And this is on. Now let's see which ends are fulfilled. Nothing. Mm -hmm. No end is totally green. So we're good. We are good, good, good. Yeah? Now the start command is coming. With the start command, book. This end was getting fulfilled. Now one mm1 is traveling out. 
Yeah? This means 1pg1 will go away. This is no longer there. And 2pg1 will be there. Yeah? So the next thing is that 2pg2 is getting active. Yeah? Let's write it. 1mm1 one, one M, M one out. First step. This was check. Okay. Now 2pg2 is getting active. Yeah. This is no longer active. 2pg1, this is still active. I will mark this with orange as well. I really hope this does not turn out to be totally extreme. Area 2 is also still active. Okay, and here we see already, here this end is fulfilled, yeah, back. Next thing which is going to happen, 2mm1 out. This was correct, this is correct, okay. Now 2mm1 one is going out. This means, oh, I've forgotten here, this line, this line, this line, did not change anything. This means, next step, yeah, this is active, stays active. Let's simply draw it everywhere. And then this is getting active. Okay. And this is also still active. <laughs> ah, it's schön. Okay, this is also still active. What do we see? Aha, this end here, tuck, 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 is active, getting active. This will switch off and 2 is getting active. And with, if 2 is getting active, here I have 3. Here I have three, and that this end is fulfilled. Yeah, the blue end is fulfilled. So back. Next answer of the system: two mm one in. Check. Okay. And now last color: red. Yeah. This one is active. Now this one is getting active again. This one stays active because it's still out. Red, red, red. This one is also active. Area 2 is still active. Aha. Here we see, here, there's one thing missing. Next command, this command is executed. Command 1 mm1 in check. Working. 
working. And after this is going in, yeah, one BG1 will be active again. Yeah. This is active and two BG1 is also active. And if this is active, we will switch back to area one and we are at the beginning. Okay. So you see, even if it looks now really, really colorful, yeah, I hope you could have followed and see that this is really doing the trick. So I really only need to look that all input patterns here are unique, separate this into different. So there is one linked control, there's another linked control, separated simply by the two states of this, of this memory. If there are more than two states, I have to use more memories. That's it. Huh? I cascade, this is why this is called a cascade control, cascaded control. I cascade different linked controls to fulfill the task. This usually is working. Yeah. But you see, you need a lot of thought. Huh? Even if this is, you know, realized pretty pretty straightforward to see what is going on there yeah it's not that easy yeah because imagine there are even situations where those areas might be long or shorter they do not have to be the same length huh? this is why and also the memory prices and so on this is simply nothing anymore yeah? there is no restraint yeah? this is why usually today we are in sequence controls what a sequence control is and how we solve exactly this example with a sequence control, we'll hear in next video. This is then the task of next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.